we don't see anything except that there was this thing called cotillion or cotillon, cotillon in that period because it emerges in 1708 I think it is in one of the Feuillet books it is a chorus figure dance it has a specific chorus that is done and then the figure keeps changing and then, then you go back and do the chorus and you figure and a new figure and then a chorus and a new figure. That's the germ of what became the contradance and eventually the cotillion and eventually the squareians. Co the, the, the cotillon that Feuillet published in I think it was 08, 1708, was a two couple dance and it had very elaborate um, drawings is exactly where the couples went and you know, the couple went and did things. I'm not sure it had very many steps but because for some reason the cotillon wasn't quite as fussed about as Le Marier for instance which at every step was choreographed. So when Pécourt and Desay and, and Feuillet published those ball dances for the French court they were choreographed to within an arm and leg of their of their um, figure. This cotillon was not choreographed stepwise quite as much. So there is some hint that this fell in the same bowl as what Feuillet was also doing, which was taking advantage of the public's fascination with the English country dance, where he published a whole book of them. And that's Jean Quissot, Lily Bolero, uh, the, the, the Manche Vert, you know, are the classic dances that Feuillet published in 1700. So he was sort of interested in this. And that may be where that, that idea of putting, but those were long ways dances. So if he married the idea of his court dances in his mind with the idea of two people doing a chorus figure dance. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. Okay, the way that dance worked this was, this is the cotillon of, de, of Feuillet. The way it worked was that there was pages three, four, five, and six, I think, had a figure on it. Then you had page seven and eight, and I'm not absolutely sure about the pages, but it's something like this. It was a new thing. And then it said, now do three, four, five, and six. And then there was another figure, and then now do three, four, five, and six. So clearly it was a figure, changing figure, and a steady, static figure. Now, that's reversed later in the cotillions, where we have the steady changes and the single figure. Th these are not changes in the same way, uh, at least not the, because they're complex figures. But there is a refrain that it stays the same which is what happened in the cotillions later, where the, the, the core of the cotillion, and then we had the standard changes around it. This has seemed to be the core, and then differing changes around it. So it's not there yet, but it's going there. I think the early cotillion in, in Cafe has a figure. Okay. Then it has another figure. Then it says, repeat that first figure. Okay. Then it has a new figure. And then it says, repeat that first figure. Okay. So basically you've got one steady thing and the changing group of interesting figures around it. Right. As the cotillion, each cotillion has a figure of its own. And then there's a set of standard changes. Uh. Everybody, every cotillion starts with a grand round. And in, in France, it's to the right, in England, it's to the left. And then they do a series, and it depended where you were as to what these series were. But generally, a hand turn, uh, left, right hand turn, left hand turn, back to back, star, the men's star, the women's star, uh, allemand usually, and finally a grand ring. Again, round wrong. Those stayed the same. So what, what I need to see before I can say anything happened is I want to see the primary evidence. I want to see it written down. So we looked at this and we have in Feuillet, we have something called Cotillon. And apparently from the literature that uh, bless her heart, uh, Allison has turned up, that was kind of a dirty joke. It was a sexy joke. 
that's where the petticoat thing comes in. The petticoat thing is not, has nothing to do with the dance. It has to do with the word. It's nothing to do with the dance. You didn't do a dance with petticoats. So, but there was a dance. It was in, now in the case of the early one, only four people. So somebody who is a little um, careless could say, oh, well, that goes back to Parsons Farewell. No, I don't think so. There were a lot of dances that were done. They were court dances. They were fully choreographed with steps in the whole nine yards. And the figure was all worked out and drawn out. And, and these, um, I shouldn't say lots because we don't have that many of them, but I believe we have, uh, the figure that sticks in my mind is 300. Choreographed dances from this period, from the Louis XIV period, from the beginning of the uh, Royal Academy of the Dance, uh, which is in the 60s, 1660, to 18, 1725, that period. We have, I think, 300 choreographed dances. So there was really an interest in France in choreographing really beautiful dances for one, two, four, six, eight, ten, you name it, whatever. There's a book that came over here that has dances for all women in different groups with figures all spelled out in around 1700. So those dances, that, that book was brought to America and it was being taught by a dancing master here. So we have a body of literature that we can look at. So the only thing in there that looks anything like a square dance is this one by Fouillet. 